Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Darshet, and I will be your host this evening, and welcome back to Darkest Bill Castle. In the last episode, our good compatriots, the Romero brothers and Foxy, were taken from us by the demon king known as Vigo. We vowed to not let Vigo outshine us and reclaim our friends. And in doing so, received some unexpected help from Dan Teapot here, who brought us down to his parents' basement to find some sort of demon gate. Now, he said we could talk to the demon gate, but I'm not sure what he means by that. Anywho, nice mural here, though. Hmm. Something in this stained glass makes me think that the weather in the underworld will be rather warm. Yeah. You think so, huh? Our armors may look pretty cool, but they become a problem if you're in a hurry to go to the bathroom. And that's why I had to throw away my last suit of black armor. Yeah, it makes sense. Hey, what? Why are you helping me? Why not? You're trying to go to the underworld. You leave the town, I stay, and everybody wins. Also, it's not the first time we've teamed up. Remember the time we fought that evil, invisible man? It was really hard, but we were able to beat him together. Well, I have to confess, there was no Invisible Man. It was pretty funny watching you look for him in the rain for hours. If there was no Invisible Man, who was hitting me in the back of my head? It was me the whole time. But you told me you weren't. I was lying. Oh, well, that explains why you were the only one able to see him. I can't wait for you to go to the underworld. Yeah. <laughs> How did you escape my prison? Oh, that is a story full of suspense, action, and intrigue. I woke up, locked in a cell, only equipped with my wit. The room was cold, and the crickets... Oh, just forget it. Yeah. Never mind. Ah, oh, just look at him. I still can't believe the Romero brothers mistook me for him. Yeah, okay. So... A really uncommon door. The rune seemed to glow. It has a sticker on its side that reads Model 8300, serial number 4134, now with 30% less sodium? Yeah, why do they have to put that there? Same thing that I've kind of noticed with uh, everything nowadays is why the hell do people feel the need to look for labels on different products? Like, why the hell do I need to know that bananas are gluten free? I don't need to know that. I already know that it's gluten-free. I feel kind of stupid doing this, but... Hello? Underworld Gateway Model 8300 welcomes you to your new travel. Ready to experience the magical wonders of interdimensional warp? What the hell? This door talks. Why did you never tell me you had a talking door? You didn't talk before. The door started talking when all those demons reached town. Ready to experience the magical wonders of interdimensional warp? Mmm, yes? Perfect. Please vocalize your password to proceed. What password? I don't know any password. What about... Open Sesame? Sorry, password incorrect. Try again later. If you've forgotten your password, please contact our customer support. Goodbye, and have a nice day. What was that password thing about? Yeah, that's the only problem it has. But I'm sure we can figure out something to use it anyway. Okay, uh, huh. Hey, what? Do you know if there's a user's guide for the gate? I don't think so. My dad won all this in a school raffle. What you see is what you get. Even the stained glass? Even the stained glass and all the room decoration. Why would your dad want to win something like this? He didn't. He was trying to give me a pony. Huh. And let me guess, you got second place. Do you know anything about the gate's previous owner? Not really. I told you before, my dad won all this on a school raffle. What kind of school puts these things as prizes on a raffle? Oh, uh, that's not even the weirdest thing we won. Once my dad won a shirt with lipstick on it, my mom was so angry until he explained to her it was all a misunderstanding. So you'll never believe what some people will put as a prize. I'm starting <laughs> to understand how the school raffle thing works. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> never mind. Okay, so maybe we just need to talk to, uh... I will not clean the stairs. I don't want to clean the stairs. These stairs lead back outside, 
but the key for traveling to the underworld is down here, in Dan Teapot's basement. I hate to say it, but I'd better stay here. Uh, okay. Anything else I can interact with here? This box. The box smells like moss. I am curious, but unboxing stuff is so troublesome and messy. All right. I don't want to uncover that statue. All the dust will fly around and I'll start to sneeze like crazy. You know what? The other armor told me that you're a coward. Your silence only confirms it. What if I talk to this one? Hello? It's just a statue. What was I expecting? I can't talk to that. Okay, well, there's gotta be something that I can do. Maybe there I can ask, I can trick the door into telling me? You have attempted to input your password incorrectly recently. Do you want to try again? Or do you want to contact our customer support? Yes, customer support, thank you. I'd like to contact customer support. Welcome to Hellgate Corporation Customer Support. To contact our commercial department, please press 1. To contact technical support, please press 2. To reset your password, please press 3. To leave, please press 4. Oh, well that's easy. 3. You are being transferred. Good day, sir. Carlos Herrera speaking. So you want to change your password? Yes. Perfect. I will have to ask you some routine questions before resetting your password. You will have to provide me with your surname, your central number, and the name of your pet. Do you have all this data with you now? Uh, not really. Then I'm afraid I can't reset your password. Sorry. I will redirect you now to the previous menu. Welcome to Hellgate Corp. To contact our commercial department, please press 1 to contact to reset okay. to leave. Okay. Let's try 1. Welcome to our commercial department. For sales, press 1. If you want to cancel your subscription to our service, please press 2. Okay, so after going through uh, some weird things here, I had to go through a lot of different conversations with different technical support people. And th going through a conversation with someone who I talked to through pressing the wrong button. Hello? You have attempted to input your but password. But I believe I managed to, to collect again? all the information that I need in order to change password. I'd like well, to contact so skipping to contact straight to, to the reset password. Your password to you are being Here transferred. We go. Good day, sir. Carlos. Yes. Perfect. I will have to ask you some routine questions before resetting your password. You will have to provide me with your surname, your central number, and the name of your pet. Do you have all this data with you now? Yes, I do now. Of course. Perfect, sir. First, tell me your surname. My surname is De La Morte. De La Morte. Perfect, Mr. De La Morte. Now, please tell me the central number of the device we should reset. Yep, the new number that the guy gave me is two, four, three, one. Perfect. And lastly, Mr. De La Morte, can you please tell me the name of your pet? Through some weird conversation through a button I shouldn't have even pressed in the first place, I found out my fish's name is Mr. Sabado. Mr. Sabado? Excellent. Your password has been reset. Please take note. I had to keep my notebook open just like a... Latin Lover 200. Okay? Perfect. So I can use my dimensional gate, right? Indeed, sir. Thanks for calling Hellgate Corporation. Latin Lover 200. I want to input my password. Please vocalize your password. Latin Lover 200. Latin Lover 200. Welcome, Mr. Lamort. Your trip to the underworld is ready. Please step on the gate to commence your teleportation. Dan, I'm leaving. I'm traveling to explore the unknown. Good luck. You really were a worthy opponent, Sid. If I don't come back, tell Mr. Buttons that he has to continue my evil legacy. I can't believe the things I do to avoid cleaning my home. Don't worry about that, because you are never coming back. Okay, Chapter 3, Brave New World. 
Oh, wow. That whole thing to do with talking to the door was so, just chaotic. This is the underworld. Eh, interesting. This room looks pretty much like Dan's basement. Eh, let's move forwards. I still have to find the Romero brothers. Yep. Okay, well, it seems that right away... Wait a second, I, I recognize this. What's that supposed to represent? The art of the underworld is awful. Just look at that ugly kid in the middle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's you, Sid. These statues are kind of creepy. Do they talk? You know you have a twin brother on the other side of that portal? Rat-shaped slot, bear-shaped slot. It is a slot in the shape of a bear. Below it, an inscription reads, The Guardian Bear. The Guardian Bear and a seahorse. It is a slot in the shape of a seahorse. Below it, an inscription reads, The Half-Dead Seahorse. It is a slot in the shape of a rat. Below it, an inscription reads, The Black Rat. Okay. Dead Explorer. Eh, looks like someone wasn't able to explore the underworld that much. Yeah, it looks like you kind of died after a few steps in. Hello? Are you related to Waldo? You look very much like him. And you are also as silent as him. Mm, this thing was hanging out from one of his pockets. I'm sure he will not miss his... survivalist magazine. Okay, something tells me the tips inside this magazine aren't that effective. Probably not. Oh, wow. Market, Lava Fall. Is that it? Lava Fall, Market, to the castle. Okay. Oh, look, it's Vigo. Can you believe this? Just look at that statue. He looks so cool. Mental note, commission a similar statue of me when I get back home. It does look pretty cool. He's got the rose in his mouth, like he's ready to do the, the samba or something. Carnivorous plant. The grumpiest looking carnivorous plant I've ever seen. I don't know. What if it bites me? Likely. It's likely. It looks really tough. Biting my way in is definitely not an option. Let's talk to this guy. The imp. Hello, little imp. What kind of wicked artifact are you selling? I'm selling cookies, sir. And what kind of cookies are these? Poisonous? Laxatives? Cursed? Oh, let me guess. The green ones. They have some kind of explosive charge inside, right? No, sir. The green ones are pistachio cookies. Pistachio? pistachio. Regular pistachio. And the rest? Vanilla, chocolate, and blueberry. No gimmicks. No poison. No acid. No, sir. That would be hazardous for the customers. What kind of imp are you? I'm an imp scout, sir. I'm selling cookies for the Blind Bats Troop. If we sell 200 more, we're going to travel to Doom Mountain Camp. Imp scouts? Yes, sir. I would find terrible things in the underworld, but this surpasses my expectations. Uh, let's see here. Are you blind? No, but I'm heavily short-sighted. Can you see my hand? No, but I do know we're in daylight. Isn't that a problem while scouting? As a member of the blind bat troop, I use my other senses to scout. For instance, I can tell by using my heightened olfactory senses that something is burning nearby. We are surrounded <laughs> by lava. The burnt smell is everywhere. Exactly as I predicted. You see, my short sight isn't a problem for a scout. Can you scout for another entrance to the castle? Yes, sir. I can be really short sighted, but I'm a member of the Blind Bat Troop. I can use echolocation to scout an area. Great. Give me a minute. And? What did you find? I found that there's another entrance just to the right of those four guards. There are only two guards. Oh, really? Then my estimations about you being three meters tall are also incorrect. Oh, gosh. Sorry. I should keep practicing. Yeah, yeah. Do you know anything about those carnivorous plants over there? That's a species of carnivora cherimolium. This kind of plant feeds on unsuspecting burgers. 
Burgers? Burgers? Yes, this part of the underworld is infested by flying hamburgers. Luckily in the winter, they all immigrate to Gluttony Island, but don't expect to see that particular specimen eating much. Last year it became vegetarian. So now he eats flying broccoli? No, flying carrots. But I highly suspect that the smaller of the flowers is eating bacon when the other ones aren't looking. Uh-huh. About the cookie business. Yes? What kind of cookies do you have? Chocolate, pistachio, vanilla, and blueberry. Are they good? They are delicious, sir. I made them myself. They have no poison? Not even a drop of poison, sir. Okay. About the cookie. Yep. How much for the cookies? It's 20 Bernios for a dozen. You can say our prices are a bit high, but that's nothing compared to the prices of that giant spider on the market. Do you offer free samples? We only feed elderly people or the undead. So, sorry. If you want to try our cookies, you'll have to buy them. If I don't try them, how am I going to know if I like them? I just follow the Imp Scout code. About yet. I have goodbye. Okay. Maybe he won't notice. I don't think that little imp over there is going to let me. Uh, I still have some money though. Sorry, sir. I don't know how much this is worth, but I only accept Bernios as a currency. Okay. Well, all right. Uh, let's go to the market then. Maybe. Oh, is that the giant spider they're talking about? Wanted a human, some sort of Chuck Norris-esque human, for thirty million. Glue bucket, I'll take that. That's pretty impractical to carry around. Okay, maybe I'll just come back when I need something uh, glued. Wow, a lot of stuff to look at. It reads: Wanted, dead or alive. Dark Alberto, the scourge of the underworld. Reward: one million Bernios. The sign clearly says 30 million. Get your facts uh, straight. There's something about him that rubs me the wrong way. Maybe it's his smile. Maybe it's the fact that he is a scary giant arachnid. Well, that's no excuse not to say hi. Hello? Hello, stranger. Welcome to Nicola's friendly shop. I sell the finest crafted cloth around town, and at very good prices. That voice you got! Why is the market so empty? This used to be a vibrant flea market. So, what happened? I ate most of the fleas. <laughs> I think I have to go. You don't have to worry, my friend. You are a customer. I don't eat customers anymore. I feel so relieved now. What are those wanted signs about? Those are for the bandit known as Dark Alberto. What does he do? Dark Alberto is not a normal entity like you and me. He is a human. So? Every night he performs really annoying acts. Like changing worm pies for apple pies, teaching imps about safety regulations, or turning all the local zombies into accountants. That sounds terrible. Yes, I never have seen a zombie horde so boring in my life. Now they seem so lifeless. <laughs> I would like to buy something. I have all kinds of clothes. Huh. How much for that lovely black claw? It is lovely indeed, and is at a fraction of his regular price. It is worth only two rubies, six diamonds, and three unicorn horns. Uh, I don't think I have enough unicorn horns. What a shame. Maybe I should come back when I know what kind of Never cloth mind. I need. At your service. To the bar. El Dragon Contento. Which roughly translates to the Happy Dragon. Hey, I know you, or at least I know someone, some of your pals. He looks really concerned. Hi. Hello. Sad day, isn't it? Why do you say that? Well, this is a terrible day for show business. 
What happened? Our drummer, Great Flavio, just left the band. We have two shows tomorrow, and we'll have to cancel both of them. Why don't you find a replacement? It's hard to find drummers like him. Was he that good? No, he was 20 centimeters tall. That was his drum. Why don't oh, you have a regular sized drummer in your band then? You just can't use a regular drummer when the name of the band is the Amazing 20 Centimeters Band. But you are taller than that. That's not a problem. I don't go on stage. I'm the manager. By the way, I'm Alexander Krastakavik. And you are? My name is Sid, the Demon of Darkestville. Nice to meet you, Sid. Are you one of those demons that can shrink? No, not really. Oh, what a sad day for show business. Man, the voices these guys have. Why has he left the band? He accused me of not listening to him, wasting all the band's money on getting drunk, and some other stuff. I couldn't remember the rest. I had a terrible hangover. Ah. That is a terrible accusation. Yeah. He also told me that the treatment I was giving him was inhumane. And after all the effort I made to poke extra holes on his jarless so he could breathe cleaner air. Some people never see the things you do for them. Where did you see him last? Last time I saw him, he was yelling at me, telling me how he was gonna leave the band. He left the studio really angry, went away flying. He can fly? Nope, but when he reached the studio sidewalk, an eagle got him. I hope he's alright. There's eagles in the underworld? How could I recognize your drummer if I found him? Well, he had large eyes, a slender body with a long and furry tail. He was always eating nuts and moving quickly from one place to the other. You are describing a squirrel. Oh, I never thought about that. <laughs> yeah. But now that you mention it, I guess you are right. He was a squirrel. That explains why he was always storing food around. Sure, sure, sure. Um... I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye. Okay, what else we got going on here? Oh, hello, sir! Dish towel. It's a yellow dish towel. I can't talk to that. Wait till he turns around and take it. <laughs> I get a feeling that's what I was supposed to do. Hi. Hello, and welcome to the Dragon Contento. If you're looking for some good shooters in the best shows of all the underworld, you came to the right place. My name is Tito. I will be serving you during your visit tonight. How may I help you? Hey, Tito. You're my kind of... person. Have you heard anything about King Vigo or the Romero brothers? Yes, I heard that King Vigo returned from holidays earlier, but that's all I heard. It's a shame that he had to come earlier. We really deserved a vacation after all he did for us. The taxes have never been so low, the economy is on the rise, and he implemented a new healthcare system that's formidable. This Vigo sounds like quite the economist. When does the show start? The next show is a bit delayed. Unfortunately, our dear Shirley broke the stage after her last number. She is too effusive at times, but she is the best. Really? I guarantee you will never find a better tap dancing whale in any other place of the underworld. So, oh, well. no more shows today? It seems so. Beto is fixing the stage, but that could take a while. Okay, alright. I would like to order something to drink. Our specialties are shooters. We have Gregory Tequila, Penguin Rum, Diamond Vodka, Evil Goo, Bad Juju, and all the varieties of Cucamonga that you can imagine. Do you accept Evil Card? No, not really. And I guess I won't be drinking much today. Why does nobody accept evil card? I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye. Nobody accepts evil card. Alright, hold on one sec. Okay, and we're back. Hello. What is so funny? What? What? You never saw someone like me? 
I don't understand what you're talking about. Why are you looking at me with that smile on your face? You want to make fun of how I look? No, I just wanted to start a conversation. Then what are you laughing at? That's my face. I look like this all the time. Look, I have no time to lose talking. I have to repair this stage, and I need to concentrate on this. So if you don't mind, mind your own business. Oh shit, sorry, sorry. Can I borrow your hammer? No! Can you give me space to work in? Go away! How about some nails? Can you lend me some nails? Nope. But- No! Have you heard anything about some imprisoned demon hunters? I don't want to start a conversation with you. As you can see, I'm busy. I don't want to end up with a hammered finger. So please, go away. Hammered finger, you say? When is the stage going to be ready? Look, funny face. Fixing this stage isn't as easy as you think. I need to concentrate. Okay then. I have other matters to attend to. At last. Go bother someone else. Now about this, uh, back entrance here. This door is blocked. I think it's for bar personnel only. Alright then. Now as for this, uh, dish rag, can I sell it to the spider? That doesn't need cleaning. Okay, so I need to use it to clean. Let's go explore the other area then. The Lava Fall. Vulture Man. Hello? Hello, young one. Looking to trade some ingredients for your spells? I don't know. What do you sell? Oh no, we don't sell. This is the Warlock Club trading post. Here, the Black Wizards exchange ingredients they are not planning to use for other items they may be looking for. <laughs> cool. What do you have for trade? Are you a member of the Warlocks Club? Yes, of course. May I see your member ID? D um, I don't have it with me at the moment. Then I'm afraid you can't access our trade club. <laughs> okay. Where can I get a replacement Warlock ID? You should go to the Warlocks Club headquarters and ask for a new ID. Remember, they're open from 8 to 6. And don't worry, the process is quick. The process is really quick. <laughs> God, this guy's more maniacal than I am. Why do you have so many fortune cats? It was Raul, the new guy. He traded a lot of expensive magical items for fortune cats. Now we have almost only fortune cats. We have a problem. If the manager finds this out, we have serious problems indeed. Okay. Why do you always sound like you're plotting something? It is a birth <laughs> defect. It's just that. A really troublesome birth defect. <laughs> Sorry. I can't control that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, I got a... I got a thing as well. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye. And have a nice day. <laughs> Creepy guy. Okay, Vulture Man, Vulture Man, Fortune Cat. What's this over here? Cascade of Lava. This place seems great for human sacrifices. We should invite <laughs> Dan Teapot out here someday. Sure, sure. I'm not in the mood to set myself on fire. Huh. Okay. Broken bridge. The bridge is broken. I can't reach the other side. I can't fix it with my bare hands. I need a hammer and some nails. Okay, so... So I need to get the hammer and nails from the guy doing the repairs. Oh wait, I think I have an idea as to how to get that. Now the hammer and nails, the guy said he needs to concentrate. 
or he might smash his own fingers. So what if we take the party horn? What? Oh, son of a, I told you I need to concentrate. Oh, sorry. Did I disturb you with my horn? Of course. Now shut up and help me find my hammer. Now you see it? Now you don't. Now I just need some nails. Hello. Look, funny face, at least don't bother me anymore. Hello. Look, funny face, I'm trying to find my hammer. So if you're not going to help, at least don't bother me anymore. Okay. I don't want to start a fight. Hey, don't touch it. These drums are expensive. All right, all right, all right. Already, already. So now, since I have that, uh, oh. Where am I going to find nails? Maybe at the castle, somehow. Hi. What do you want? Can I enter the castle? No, you can't. King Vigo came earlier from his vacation with some humans. He doesn't want to be disturbed. I must talk with King Vigo. Open the gates. No one can enter the castle. It's a direct order of King Vigo. But I'm a very important person. Who are you? Tell me the name of someone really important. King Vigo. No, another one. King Vigo's mom? Exactly. <laughs> well, that's it. I'm King Vigo's dad. King Vigo's dad is dead. You don't understand. I'm his real father. I don't think so. King Vigo's real dad wears a mustache and have a pair of horns less than his dead father. I guess I'm confused. I'm afraid you are, sir. Should I beat him? I don't think so. The boss will be mad at you if you break another staff this week. That's true. What if I gave you my staff and I just punch him? That's against the rules. I guess you're lucky I'm looking for that promotion. Whew. Yeah, okay, uh... Do you want to get me killed? Because that's how you get me killed. What are you blabbling? Should I beat him? No, at least not yet. I guess you're lucky I'm looking for that promotion. Whew. Do you know any other way in? No, sir. This is the only entrance. Unless you are asking for the secret entrance. So yeah, there that is a secret entrance. No. But <laughs> you just told me. Should I beat him? I don't know. I've suddenly remembered that I have other matters to attend to. So there is a there is, there, yeah, there is a secret yeah, way mind. in. Probably not over here. Oh wait, wait, a carnivorous plant. Maybe he wants a sausage. I will not use this sausage there. Ah oh, well. Is there anything else around here? The brown ones are chocolate cookies, the green ones are pistachio, the star-shaped are vanilla, and the blue ones are blueberry. Thanks for the high expectations, but I can't move it. Okay, what about if you smash it with a hammer? That doesn't need to be hammered. Well... Okay, so officially not sure, not sure what to do now. There's gotta be something more at the market I can do. There's a lot of stuff around here. It's a wagon with a signal on it. What does the signal say? I have no idea. I can't read half of the things in this world. This is pretty inconsistent. I would normally say it's too heavy to move, but luckily this thing has wheels, so ta-da. Oh, well, look at that. Cowabunga! The underworld sewers are big! Yeah, yeah they are. Oh, an ID card! Sure. What kind of ID card is this? It's a Warlock's Club ID card. 
Eh, no wonder the owner lost his ID. According to this, he's 200 years old. Well, okay then. Dead giant wild boar. It's a giant, orange, badass, full of horns, and dead wild boar in a sewer. Because, why not? Why not indeed? What's this? Someone lost his mail. And someone will take the mail. I'm not sure if it's a crime to read someone else's mail, but who cares? What's it say? It reads, My love, I'll always be yours. Here is my picture so you think about me every night. Yours forever, your cherry pie. And it has the picture of what seems to be an anthropomorphic cherry pie sending a kiss to the camera. <laughs> The door has a sign that reads, Caution, Wet Paint. Eh, this thing here looks pretty useless to me. Push the button. Will you operate the synthesizer? Nah, it doesn't work. Uh, let's see, wet paint, so dish towel. Open sesame! Ha! <laughs> now the wet paint is not a problem anymore. Sadly, this dish towel will probably mess up my inventory now that it's saturated with paint, so... I'd better discard it. Farewell, my yellow friend. Farewell. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to end the episode here. I think this episode has gone on long enough, and I think we've done enough for now. So, in the next episode, we will try to find some nails so we can repair the bridge and find out what is behind this mysterious door. Until then, check the card for the full playlist, and if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button below. And if you hit that subscribe button, maybe you'll, I won't wipe the paint off your freshly painted door. Thank you all for joining me for this part of Darkestville Castle. And I will see you next time. There was a promise made. Dreamers believe.